Hello everyone, this is Ken with Power Source Electric and today we're going to talk about light bulbs. Uh, light bulbs are just uh, something we have in our house all the time. You might have 20, 30 light bulbs. You just don't even know until you go to replace them all. Um, if you were to replace every light bulb in your house, you'd be surprised how many there are. Uh, in my home, I was very surprised. I was, uh, I bought, a, you know, the CFL light bulbs came out and the fluorescents and I said, I want to save some money. Let me replace all my light bulbs. And so I bought a couple packs of them and said this should do it. Uh, no, it wasn't even close. And, um, and then I looked at it, I started counting them. I had over 50 to 60 light bulbs in my house and I couldn't even believe it. Um, but anyhow, there's a lot. There's a lot, of, um, there's a lot of ways you can waste electricity with light bulbs. Uh, there's ways you can save money with uh, using the proper type of bulb. So I'm just going to have a discussion about light bulbs in general. Uh, nothing real specific, just um, maybe three basic types. We're going to talk about the, uh, the standard uh, filament type light bulb, old school. Uh, I'll talk about fluorescent, the CFL compact fluorescent light bulbs, and the new LED light bulbs. Just the general use of um, where we would use them, what we'd use them for, and uh, give you a couple of examples. Um, and really, this information is here to, um, to enlighten you, to give you uh, a new perspective on a light bulb when you purchase it. It's a small purchase, you know, if you're just buying one or two just replacements, not a big deal, a couple of bucks and you buy a new light bulb. But it's being used all the time, all the time in your house and uh, it's costing you energy. Um, so you want that light bulb to serve you and be the most efficient that it could possibly be. And you know, when I say most efficient, that doesn't mean buy an LED light bulb and uh, use them everywhere in the house because they uh, cost the least amount and they use the least amount of energy because if they're not serving that area, if you don't have enough light in that area, then they're not doing you any good. Uh, example, I did that in my house. I put LED light bulbs in my kid's bathroom. Well, they leave the lights on all the time. There's nothing I can do about it except run behind them and turn the lights off. I try and keep up with it and they still leave them on. So I put LED light bulbs in there, but it was so dark that they were bringing flashlights into the bathroom because LEDs just didn't put off enough light. So it didn't serve me well, didn't use it. I went back to compact fluorescent light bulbs in there and, um, and that did a much better job. So the first light bulb is the old school light bulb with the filament. Here it is. Uh, this is it. This is a common one you use in the bathroom. And um, you know, these are very inexpensive. Um, you know, when your builder came in, he put these type of light bulbs in because it didn't cost him that much and it gave you light, but it's wasting a lot of your energy. Um, there's certain places where you need uh, a type of light bulb, old school light bulb, I'm just going to call it old school. Um, there's certain places where you need this type of bulb, but it's not in your bathroom. I wouldn't use that in your bathroom. Um, I would go back to um, the compact fluorescent. This is similar to it. These bulbs are actually called a G25. G25 light bulb, this is the one for your vanity light. It's a fluorescent light bulb. Three or four years ago, these light bulbs were uh, bad. They flickered, they put off a bright light that nobody wanted to see, but now uh, they're improved, they're better, and I like this type of light bulb. So um, for the bathroom use, yep, I would use it. Um, would I use a CFL in my uh, kitchen? Nope, because I've done that. My wife said, no, I don't like it. Uh, it doesn't give me enough light. The light kind of fades in, fades out. We use dimmable. Uh, compact fluorescence and it just doesn't work in the kitchen. So we put a uh, halogen type of light bulb, which is an old school light bulb. Um, it's going to give a brighter light. It's going to give a um, more even type of light and it's going to give a better working type light. That's why we use that type of light bulb in the kitchen. Um, CFLs are good for maybe a surface mount fixture in your hallways, uh, maybe at the entryway, uh, in your dining room, uh, any place where you just have a common um, medium level light and that's what we're going to use for. If you have dimmer switches, you're going to want to make sure that your CFLs are dimmable. Um, if that doesn't work out for you and you're not getting enough light out of the CFL, maybe your fixture is just a small fixture in a big room and you need more light so you're going to have to go to old school lights or replace the fixture. Uh, but you can go to old school light bulbs, it's going to give you a brighter light, it's going to give you a wider range and it's also going to cost more you know, in that area. But sometimes it's necessary to use that type of light bulb. Uh, the LED lights, uh, let me show you one here. This is a G25 LED, let me give you a closer look. You can see the little diodes in there and the little light bulbs. Uh, this type of light bulb inside your home, I don't think that they've come up with a, um, it's not good enough. 
I'm going to say that to the manufacturers that make these. It's not good enough. It's not good enough for my home uh, on the inside, so I'm not going to use it. It may save energy, but it doesn't give me enough light. And um, so I want an improvement on that. Um, where I do use it is landscape lighting. On the outside, accent lights, lights that I don't, you know, it's pretty to look at, lights up my house. It even adds some security to my house to use an LED light. Um, but that's where I'm going to use my LED light. I'm not going to use it inside my house because it doesn't, it doesn't serve me well. So anyhow, thanks for coming and taking a look at our video on light bulbs. Very general, very basic. I uh, just want to give you a good idea, a good starting point. And if you have questions, you want to ask me any questions, please give me, um, give me a, the opportunity to answer them for you. Uh, hit contact us, send me an email, lots of ways to get a hold of me. I uh, really appreciate you taking a look at this video. Uh, I hope to be your electrician, your person that you can ask advice to, and I want to serve you. So if you can see a better way I can serve you, please contact me and let me know that too. But thanks for coming to my site, powersourcetutorials.com.